Welcome back to the Farmcast. We're here today at the Legacy of the Plains Museum in Scottsbluff, Nebraska. I'm here with Derek Kyle today. He's our lead product specialist at 21st Century. And today we're gonna to be talking about the test farm that we have down in Severance, Colorado and, and some things that we're gonna try out to be able to give more insight to our customers. So maybe to start, Derek, just talk about what is the farm? How big is the farm? Um, and what have we done in the past at the farm? Yeah, no problem. Thanks for having me, Mike. So basically what we've got is we've got about 200 acres um, in Severance there, like you said. And currently we've we've got corn on, on a circle and, and we've got some alfalfa today. You know, the whole goal with the farm was how do we do some of our own our own training basically was the inception of this thing mm -hmm. to where we, we can go out and we can we can farm on that ground and then we can train our people on, on the on the things that we're selling yeah and i've liked how we've been able to take some risk on that ground too that exactly. you know customers aren't able to take either yeah so. yeah like we we approach customers with some of this advanced technology all the time but it's understandable that they're only willing to take a certain amount of risk because they've got financial stake in the game right where you know, so do we, but we're we're willing to take a little bit more risk there for the sake of trials, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. How do how do we how do we quantify these this information that we're doing here and say, you know, let's take a little bit more of a gamble and see if it pays off, and that way we we can get the data back off of it. Yeah, certainly, you know, we're we've talked internally about things we want to do yeah. uh, next year, and and we want to share that with with our customer base mm -hmm. uh, and kind of show them the progress of of what's happening. Things we've tried, things that have worked, things that haven't worked. Um, be very transparent with what's going on. So, yeah. so maybe we can dive into things that we're we're planning on doing next year. So, I guess of, of those 200 acres, um, what what are we planning to do next year? Like I said, we currently have corn on one circle today. We're going to go back in with corn next year, and and the big reason for that is is the equipment that we're going to be using out there next year. So we, you know, as, as everybody knows, the technology is coming at us fast, and as us as dealers, we we're, we want to stay on the front edge of that, right? We want to be. We're very excited to try all of these new products out and make sure they work in our AOR. We we get data from John Deere all the time in different parts of the country, but our customers want to know what works in our area mm -hmm. so that's what we're going to do so so on the corn you know we will have that out there and we're going to be doing some trials with starting from planting tillage actually all the way up through harvest we will be doing tillage out there with some vt tools 2660 vt and then we're going to roll into planting season right where we will be using a new exact shot planner if you guys aren't familiar with exact shot i suppose i'll dive into yeah, that a little yeah. bit but what exact shot does is it knows where the seed is placed in the trench and it sprays fertilizer in the furrow only on that seed so within certain parameters you can save up to 60 percent fertilizer in the trench by using that technology so we're going to take that and we're going to try some trials out there with that um, with the planter itself yeah i'm really excited to see you know how we can look at doing that trial and really as the as the seeds come out of the ground you know really monitor the progress of of the corn crop right. and see did it really make a difference and mm -hmm. um are we going to do that across the entire field or are we going to do uh different strips you know utilizing exact exact shot and, and non right 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 it makes sense that we are going to do some strips we we want to be able to find out is this worth it is it working so you know we'll do a strip of just standard no fertilizer and then we will go in and we'll just let's just say five gallons an acre is a good fertilizer in the trench we'll do that without using that technology and then we'll also go in and use that technology with the spot spraying for the infro fertilizer and then as we harvest that we're going to see what the yield difference is going to be across the board and then factor in the savings portion of that can we get the same yield out of using less fertilizer is the sure. goal for that planter right on top of everything else that has exact emerge individual row hydraulic downforce all those things so we're really going to see what comes of it and all that documented in the operations center absolutely right? so yep absolutely nice to see so that uh, kind of wraps up planting. So as we get into applications, um, what are we doing in applications? So with application, you know, we, we will have a C and spray ultimate machine out there that we're going to be doing some trials with ourselves. We've, we've seen that in the field. We've experienced it this last year and it's been phenomenal. So now we want to take it to the next level and 
and play with some different chemical practices out there. We're going to take that risk and say, let's try a different blend and try on half of the field. We're only going to scene spray. We're going to spot spray that field with a different chemical blend. And then we'll go over here and we'll just broadcast spray or broadcast and scene spray. We'll see how it looks. But that way we can say, hey, we, we, we got a really hot mix of fertilizer or, or chemical, excuse me, on this one side of the field. Did it produce the same results? Did we, were we able to accomplish the same goal by going over that field less times using less chemical? And yeah. then quantify all that data, is break it down to the, the penny from our standpoint, did it work for us? And sure. then, so that'll be a good point from there. Yeah, I'm really excited for that. As I said before, just really us taking the risk because because we have had customers that have utilized the scene spray machine. And what we've heard from them is that they liked it, they loved it, yep. but they kept the intensity of of the uh, cameras at really high. And so they didn't really necessarily see a ton of savings um, or as much as maybe they could have if mm -hmm. they would have lowered that intensity um, because they didn't want to take that risk. And I, and I definitely understand that. So yeah. excited to, to see how we can play with that intensity level and also play with the, the chemicals that are being used and, and see how that makes a difference on the, on the crop and, and share that with our customers. Right, and, and it helps us be better with the equipment too. The more we run this stuff, and that's a big part of the farm, is we're gonna be running all this stuff. So that way, when our customers do have it, we've experienced the same thing that they're gonna experience. Mm -hmm. And we feel confident with producing this product or presenting this product to them. Sure, yeah. yeah. So then on the on the harvest side, anything to, to add there? Mainly just the harvest side. Obviously, we'll be continuing to use all the latest and greatest advanced technologies that Deer offers today with that. You know, we'll be using machine sync and auto track turn automation with our combines. But the whole goal of that is to see what were the results of what we did all year long with that corn. So we'll have those trials laid out set up an operation center so then when we harvest that information on there we will also have a harvest lab on our combine you know for grain sensing yep. um, monitoring on there so we'll be able to monitor starch protein oil content of that corn and then start collecting more data and working with agronomists and ourselves internally what can we do with that yeah information good yeah good to utilize the the harvest lab and and we've seen some customers utilize that as well yeah. for for corn i think we have a lot to learn about how we understand protein and starch and yep. the, the oil content of, of corn specifically mm -hmm. um you know we've had a lot of trials in our AOR with uh, wheat uh, in the harvest yeah. lab. Um, so excited to see what we can do with corn on that. Yeah. So Yeah, it's a fairly new thing, but we're, we're staying out in front of it, right? We, we wanna utilize everything that's available to us and make sure that we understand it and that way their customers can understand it. Sure. Well. So what else has happened at the farm? Um, I know you talked about the corn uh, circle, but uh, we, we gonna do some wheat out there as well? Yeah, so we, we rotated out some alfalfa that was in dire need of being rotated out. So we drilled some wheat in there here recently, and a goal for that is one, crop rotation, right? But two is what are some crops that our customers do in our area, right? Corn, wheat, so wheat's, wheat's a crop that a lot of our customers grow. So one, we're gonna be able to do some internal training with that, you know, specific to combines. And two, we'll have that harvest lab on there. We, we've utilized it with some of our customers already today, but how can we, how can we use that data off of that harvest lab for protein and wheat specifically, and maybe change some things up and, and create a value story for that that piece? So, yeah. so it's good to good to have a rotation of different crops out there sure. relative to our area. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and like I said, try try out different pieces of equipment that can be utilized for for wheat that you know we want we want to treat this as just like our customers would and yeah we're working with an agronomist we're um understanding how those trials are working and not working and mm -hmm. um, want to make sure we're we're treating this just like we would expect one of our customers to and and we're putting all that data in the operation center and analyzing it afterwards and those kinds of things so yeah no we're we're turning into farmers ourselves here and, and we're like i said we're going through the same exact steps like you just said here so we'll know at the end of the year what what are our inputs and what did we come out of it did, sure. how did that work for us and is it going to work for our customers yeah yep. and these are both irrigated uh, both irrigated, all, all irrigated yeah they're both under pivots um so hopefully we'll get the best bang out of our buck sure. for that but it, it gives us the ability to in a dry year to try some more things out and hopefully gain some gain some yields out there well thank you for joining us here at the farmcast thank you derek for, Thanks, for your insights and uh 
look forward to seeing what we can get done at the farm. Like, subscribe below, leave us any comments, um, and uh, look for some marketing material from 21st century on the farm and what yep. we're doing and, and the progress that we're making.